Hi, I'm Chad Compton, driver of the CNC Motorsports number 69C, and you're watching KWS Tonight. Well, welcome, welcome, everybody. We're just over one month away from the King of the West Sprint Car Series opener at the Antioch Speedway on April 20th. And tonight, we're coming at you from KD Performance with a quick sneak peek of what to expect in two weeks' time when we have an exclusive sit-down with Brent Kading. But before that, let's go inside and talk about what's on tonight's show. Well, on tonight's show, we're going to share more of our recent trip to the Reno Sparks, Nevada area with interviews featuring longtime Sprint Car veteran Mike Monahan, who's been around since the non-wing days of the Northern Auto Racing Club and is still racing now here in 2013. Recently, he was third quick at Chico at the uh, Silver Cup and had a nice run there at Chico. And we also visited Gilson's Auto Body, also in Sparks, Nevada. And if you're a lover of high-end cars, this is the place to check out. You don't want to miss the piece put together by our producer, Brandon Skaggs. Now, we also wanted to give congratulations to Tim Cady, who picked up a victory last week at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway with the World of Outlaws. Also picked up another top five finish there on the prelim night and then back that all up with another strong effort at the Tucson Raceway in Arizona to score his third World of Outlaw Series top five finish in just three starts. So great job by TK. Looking for great things out of him this weekend at the Tulare Thunderbolt Raceway. Without further ado, let's get into that interview with Sparks Nevada driver Mike Monahan. Race fans, proud to be here in Reno, Nevada. Superior Hydraulics with Mike Monahan. Mike, nice, nice, nice to, to see you. you. Nice to see you. First, first time up here. This, this is this is an impressive shop. You do some oh, heavy duty yeah. work up here on with hydraulic cylinders. Yeah, we do some large, uh, heavy equipment uh, for the mining industry and the construction industry. Uh, so. Uh, we're looking forward to coming up in Reno and Fernley and racing, and uh, I got a feeling you must be must oh, yeah. be excited about seeing some races up here. We're glad to see it. Uh, that trip is costly, and that we get tired of driving all the way over that <laughs> hill. That hill in the middle of that trip is uh, a big one. So <laughs> yeah, and you've been doing it for a few years. Uh, yeah, 30 years down here in yeah. Reno and in Montana before that. So. Yeah, we heard about Montana over with Mark yeah. Tabor. You've yeah. had quite a bit of success up there. It seems like. <laughs> yeah, we used to. We, uh, you're a track champion up there, I understand. Uh, four, four track championships up there, but that that was a lot of years ago. Um, yeah. And then we came down, the track closed up there, so we moved to uh, Nevada to race in California, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but, uh, but I knew somebody here in Nevada, and they talked me into coming down here, and then as soon as I got here, he moved back to Montana, so. <laughs> well, it sounds like Dan Simpson. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. a little bit. He heard about something here in Nevada, and here he is. He took over the, the raceway in Fernley, and and yeah. uh, from what we talked about off camera it seems like everybody's pretty excited about that yeah i think so a, a lot of people i talk to are real excited about it and i i think he's going to be okay uh it's a large endeavor to take on but but uh there's a lot of people around here that like racing and just really don't have a lot of places to go yeah. see good racing yeah. a couple of years ago we ran uh out at uh, fallon and a lot of people showed up there to see the sprint cars run you don't really get much of the yeah. spring fire right. thing. Mark Taper said he liked that Fallon racetrack. He actually we don't know he won one of them. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah he, it, it's a real smooth track and it's pretty fast. It gets a little slick, but yeah. takes rubber pretty fast. So yeah. That's kind of what he was saying. Pick, yeah. the, the speed picks up a little bit. You said 30 years. I know you track champion in Marysville, uh, Montana. Yeah. You did it in California, Montana. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. now we got to get something here in Reno. That's Nevada. right. Yeah. Well, now. Now that uh, I'm getting too old to race and my equipment's a little better than it used to be, so <laughs> <laughs> that's the way it works. Yeah, that is it. yeah you, you can afford the better equipment, then you get older. Yeah, when you're young and ambitious, uh, you don't have the equipment, and now you have the equipment and you're getting too old. But, uh, <laughs> well, yeah. What got you into the sport, sprint car uh, racing, back in the day? You know, uh, my dad raced when I was real young, and uh, he didn't race for very long, but I was into the drag cars for a while, and, and I seemed to getting too many tickets and stuff. So <laughs> I went to the stock car track and st I built a super stock for the first year or two. Then a friend of mine uh, let me drive his sprint car. 
he was the manager of the track and they give him static about driving in and hmm. managing. So I drove his car and got hooked and ended up buying it from him. So I'm still pissed off at him to <laughs> <laughs> get me the expenses for it. <laughs> but uh, it's been a passion all my life. Uh, a few injuries along the way have slowed me down. Yeah. Um, building the business up slowed me down for a few years. I, I, I quit for a while to do that. But as soon as I had my house built and the business going, I went back and started racing again. <laughs> so I don't have any plans to quit anytime soon. Still having fun and still got a lot of equipment to to use up. So exactly. that's the equipment thing to use up. Yeah. yeah, we we saw around the shop. Yeah. We were standing here, uh, you know, just behind us a couple of the race cars. We see one up over there on, on another one of the offices. And uh, so yeah, you, it, I it's just it's just great to be here and, and, yeah. and expand 410 sprint car racing. I in think Nevada. it's going to go real well. Um, and I think everybody's going to have a good time. We've got a lot of great things in the plan this year. I'm sure you have a lot of people to thank for the coming season as well. Yeah, I, we're, sponsors are tough to get, especially when you're around in California and you're living here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so sponsors haven't been a big, big thing for me. Uh, they're very difficult to get, and uh, it might change that also. It might be a lot easier to get sponsors now. We were yeah. talking off yeah. camera. There's some big companies up here. And, yeah. and it might be yeah. beneficial for them to be in a race car for 14 times now rather than but just yeah. once or twice from before. That should be a big plus. And there's a lot of industry around here a person doesn't realize. Just about everything made is there's one of those kind of factories here in this area, yeah. Carson City or, or Sparks. We can tell you after, after seeing all the stuff you've got here, we could, if you're into heavy equipment and you need some uh, hydraulic yeah. cylinders rebuilt, this is the guy to see. Yeah, we I can do it all. Uh, anything hydraulic and general machine work, we do all of that too. So, yeah. Uh, Pretty which impressive. Is part of Very impressive. You have to have the machines to do the hydraulics, so we just do general machine work right. on this uh, also. So yeah. it's nothing for us to have to make a big shaft or somebody or right. something like that. So, uh, well, we look forward to seeing the uh, the 49 out on the track yeah. this year. And I'm excited about it. Uh, the first thing Judy, my girlfriend, said is, boy, we won't have to spend all that money and go that far to the races. <laughs> the so women always seem to think of the money yeah, side right, traveling. Yeah. They watch right. the fuel. <laughs> like they were buying the fuel for you. So. <laughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> no, but it is, a, it is a tough trip every week because a lot of times we drive back after the races and it's a pretty long jaunt at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, now, yeah. So. But these other guys now, they'll have to deal with it. But we're all pretty tough. From the oh, yeah. We're racing race on the road. Yeah. 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 You go we're a traveling way. series. Nah, we travel. If we had to go to some uh, swap meet or something, we probably wouldn't make the trip. <laughs> but there's a, a racetrack Sprint there, car right? race, we'll, we'll make <laughs> we'll the trip. We'll do it. Yeah. Hey, well, Mike, we appreciate your time. Okay, well, thank you. Hey, great, great. I'm looking forward great. to having a good time. Appreciate it, man. We look forward to seeing you out there. Okay, great. It's going to be fun. Well, yeah. Sure. It will be fun. It will be fun. I mean, the worst day of racing is still better than your best day of working, so... Hey, we, we say that a lot, too. Yeah, Absolutely. Can't, be, can't be all bad, so I'm looking forward to it, and I'll be there. We're ready. Good. Thank you. When you think about some of the veteran drivers in Northern California and Northern Nevada, you definitely got to point at Mike Monahan. As we said earlier, he's been around since the non-wing days of the Northern Auto Racing Club former Montana champion and has been around just a long, long time and a really great guy. Had a lot of fun going to Superior Hydraulics in Sparks, Nevada and getting kind of the behind the scenes tour with Mike Monahan. Now next up, as we mentioned, we also visited Gilson's Auto Body in Sparks, Nevada and this place is absolutely phenomenal. We got some great B-roll to show you. I mean, any classic car you can think of or any high, high tech performance car you can think of is there at Gilson's Auto Body. So let's check it out. Well, hey everyone, we're now at Gilson's Auto Body here in Sparks, Nevada with Mr. Gilbert here. And I'll doing? tell you what, George Haig and our boss, Gilbert? Dan Simpson, really built this place up and told me a lot about it, but I'm absolutely blown away. This, this place is pretty incredible. Thank you. Thank you. When did you actually get started in this stuff? It's, I mean, you showed us all your toys. It's absolutely phenomenal. Well, we, um, we started the business uh, about pretty close to 22 years ago, 1991. Um, it's me and my partner, Sonny. Uh, just the two of us uh, started with the less than 1,100 square foot building. Uh, you could pretty much put five cars in it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. At most. A little bigger yeah. now. Huh? Yeah, a little bit bigger now. <laughs> Not just one, just but you have three slight, locations, slight right? Three <laughs> yeah. locations? Three locations now. Uh, after, you know, 15 years, uh, we expanded this, uh, this shop, which the uh, the Spark shop. Uh, about five years ago, and we just exploded. Uh, I mean, we're very, I'm very thankful that... Uh, you know, we've done that. We call this kind of like your toy shop? 
I mean, what do we call this little building we're in? It seems like it's got all the neat, cool cars in it. This is the passion shop. The passion, passion shop. I like that. Okay, right? perfect. I like that. I mean, perfect. It's, uh, it's, it's where you, this is where, where our, our blood and, 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 you know, and joy uh, comes out. Right. I mean, it, it's just, it, this is the, uh, this is the joy of being, you know, being a car guy. Car guy, exactly. To live, to live the dreams right. of, of driving and cars like this, a high performance cars to go fast, big horsepower. Um, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. And this is your it's baby right behind us, I believe. This is, this, talking this about is my baby. This is uh, the favorite this, out, out of all. You know. It's your favorite? The my BMW is. Yeah. It, it sound, you fired it up for us earlier. <laughs> it was, sounded awesome. Now you've been yeah. out at the Fernley, uh, the Reno Tahoe Fernley Speedway, the on the oval on the. Uh, road course yes with some of these cars tell us what it's like driving out there because you got a lot of elevation changes and some pretty neat corners and i think we're going to name one of the corners after you because <laughs> you haven't kind of conquered, conquered that one corner yet no it always uh <laughs> kicks my butt you know but uh it's very technical love that uh, racetrack uh, th that racetrack is amazing um you know uh, it, and I, I can't i can't wait to, uh, for for the new owners to uh gosh to to do more work to it and, and improve it, man, it, it's going to be one of the top ones out there. Well, I know you were out there last week with Dan yes. Simpson and some of the folks yes. going th over the road course to, to go over those improvements. You think it's going to take a lot to bring that up to just a really high-speed racetrack? I mean, it's, you know, it's no. been sitting a while. It needs a little improvement. No, no, just uh, we actually showed him, um, you know, some, some spots that needs to be done. Uh, it's fairly, you know, quick. Um, nothing really major. Now, you, you, you told us when we were here last time, you have a lot of your customers come with some of these high-end cars, whether it be a, a, a Mercilago or a, a Porsche or a, a Mercedes or whatever, and they come out there and they just want to drive these cars fast. And that, that seems like a great location to do that. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's right, <laughs> right at our backyard. I mean, come on. A 40-minute drive, uh, it's amazing. Right, right down it? the street. Right down the street. Yeah. Uh, and this, you would be amazed how many, how many nice cars out here in, in our area when you told me how many cars you had come out for a meet 30 40 of these <laughs> high-end cars i'm thinking well this is like the san francisco bay area that's how many cars they have out down there absolutely and we're in we're in reno you know uh, tahoe carson city area yeah there's a lot of cars here wow. i tell you uh between the the uh, the, the car clubs that we're involved in uh, there, uh i'm involved with, with several car clubs here in, in in the area and i tell you what if we combine them together oh my god you know we we can get 50, 60, 70 cars. And a meet, that's neat. And a meet, that, yeah. that, that, that's and, a lot of fun. And these, these guys are just complete car nuts. <laughs> Drivers. Well, they're, they're like you. Drive. They're yeah. like you. You're a gearhead. Yeah, gear <laughs> look helps. what you got here. You <laughs> yeah, know. It's, uh, thank you. It's uh, it's re it's really amazing. You know? Yeah, you put together quite quite a performance shop. I mean, and, and it really is a performance shop. I mean, you're not you, you you work on the computers, but yeah, you work on the cars, the chassis, a little bit of everything. Well, I can't I can't I you know this is my dream to to have a performance shop, but also I, I can't I can't do this without you know without Kim. Kim is my man that that, that does the tuning. The you know I mean. It's just his background on, on, on this performance thing. It's just Kim, ungodly. Kim, get over here, Kim. Know? Hey, get the shot over here. Come on. I, I don't know if we yeah. I don't know if we can mic you up, but at least we get this. Get, get the face in the face. What we're talking about, <laughs> yeah. Kim. What we're talking about. And I know Kim's got his involvement in racing goes way back. And Kim, we've talked about doing some. You do some work for Penske. And yes, I do. So you're, you're a car nut like the rest of us. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> He's sick. You, you heard it right, right yeah. from this. We're yeah. sick, man. We're all sick. It's a we bad have, disease. We know? do. We have that yeah. bad disease. <laughs> hey, well, we look forward to working with you guys here. Uh, I, I know you've come up with a lot of great suggestions already, and, and we, you're bringing, you're going to bring some great, great excitement, I think, to the to the race course out there. Oh, yeah, really looking yeah, forward excited. to working with you. Absolutely. I mean, this is this going to be awesome. I'm just excited. I, I, you know, I got a lot of people calling me now that you know talking to me about when's the next race. <laughs> You know, I, and, well, do we have it on the books yet? We'll put it on the well, books. We'll get it all done. That's what we want to hear. Yeah, we'll put well, it we're on gonna the have books. a lot more than one. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, that's, that's good. That's, that's for good. sure. <laughs> you know. Hey, again, thank you for the tour. Yeah, thank you. Love this facility. Yeah. Uh, we'll, uh, you're going to be able to get uh, find out how to get a hold of Gilbert and his crew. We're going to put the number on the screen, right. uh, and so they can call you up here if they want to know about uh, hot riding and. Well, I don't know. Is this really hot riding, or is this the, the <laughs> you know the, the new the new the new performance thing? It's tuning and, and supercharging, tuning. and and you know uh, it's just uh, and custom chassis development. Yeah, right. Uh, you know, you know. Uh, which is what we specialize in. We we right. make them safe and make them fast. You 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 want to know more about that? We're going to show the number right at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Call Gilbert. Call Kim. They, they'll set you up. They they do some great stuff. Got to check it out.
Well, if you're a lover of high-performance cars, then Gilson's Auto Body is definitely a place to check out in Sparks, Nevada. Had a great time. Kind of giving another behind-the-scenes tour from Gilbert around the entire complex, and that place is absolutely phenomenal. Once again, Gilson's Auto Body, a great place. Definitely want to thank both staff there for showing us a lot of hospitality. I know they're looking forward to doing some work out at the road course at the RTF Speedway next season. Now with that, that's going to be the end of tonight's show. We definitely want to thank Mike Monahan for taking the time at Superior Hydraulics, and of course we said Gilbert at Gilson's Auto Body. In two weeks' time, here we are at k Performance, as you've seen uh, so far during tonight's show. We're going to have a two-part series featuring a sit-down interview with Brent Kading, talking about the past, the present, the future, talk about Kading performance and pretty much everything in between. So it's definitely going to be something you don't want to miss. To keep up with the latest news and information on the King of the West Sprint Car Series, don't forget to log on to our official website, kwssprints.com. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for the most up-to-date information pertaining to everything with the King of the West Sprint Car Series. You can also subscribe to us on YouTube. Check out all of our great videos that our producer Brandon Skaggs has put together. You can also email us at kwsseries at yahoo.com with any questions, comments, you know, good or bad. We'd like to hear everything from you. And you can also contact us at the King of the West Series office, area code 707-374-2222. Once again, the weather's been great outside. We hope everyone has fun this weekend. I know George and I are headed out to the World of Outlaw show at the Tulare Thunderbolt Raceway. And stay tuned two weeks' time for the first part of our two-part series featuring 13-time King of the West champion Brent Cady.